I brought my stuff around to all the different studios. One day I get a call, are you the guy who did these drawings? And I said, yes. And he says, can you come to work Monday? I said, yes. Well, I never did those drawings. Whoever did those drawings now may be selling insurance. This was for the movie Scarface. I so said, I go home, I'm excited. And I say, Harold, I'm going to Bolivia or Ecuador. He says, what? Are you gonna go alone to South America in a drug king's airplane? And I said, why not? In Hollywood, marriages don't seem to last very long. Our problems in raising a family affected our marriage greatly. The fact that our marriage lasted 60 years is a big surprise. Harold and Lillian enhanced the quality of movies. Both of them are these secret weapons that nobody talked about, but everybody was trying to get. Most people don't know what a storyboard artist is, and yet here it's obvious that Harold was responsible for one of the most iconic moments in cinema history. <laughs> Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> There's so many movies that Lillian gave nuance and texture and period to. It's good to be the king. Lillian and the facility of the library was uh, right there on the, on the lot. He was a great host until he went bankrupt. Harold would take her research and he would transpose it into a visual. They were like two peas in a pod. We hashed things out at the dinner table when we could get ourselves heard above the kids yelling. Our oldest was discovered to have autism. Harold was very, very proud of him, but he said, I don't know what's going to happen to him. I said, I feel that every day. You <laughs> just get used to it. <laughs> they were this center of knowledge and friendship and family. So the group that was doing Shrek, they decided the king and queen ought to be Harold and Lillian. You felt like you were watching the best of Hollywood. They truly were people that together created art. 